What's up everyone? It's Ashido. Today we're playing Sweet No Death. Uh, I found it on Itchy. It looked super cute. Uh, also has a twist of some horror behind it. So yeah, it should be fun. Let's uh, go ahead and jump into it. Okay, warning. This game contains strong depiction of the following. Language, death, blood, gore, forced cannibalism. Oh my gosh. Um, Press space or enter to continue. Depression is advised. Once upon a time, there was a small woodland land, and the land where there was there were grasses. What are they? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I can't speak. Where the grasses grew pink, and the trees hold yellow leaves up into the sun as to mirror her. In this town lived many animals who would spend their days frolicking along the grass and their evenings grazing, gazing up at the stars. One very fateful night, a star fell. A shooting star that had blazed its way across the galaxy and shone brighter than anything they had ever seen. Landed right beside their quaint forest town. And then something quite curious happened. From the remnants of the comet emerged a magical star witch. Gannel was curious, asking her all sorts of questions. Who are you? Where did you come from? She answered that she was blessed from the stars, gifted with all kinds of magical power. Yeah. Sounds, sounds good to me. She promised to use this power to make their lives as happy as can be. Using her magic, she turned a once pleasant community into an even more delightful one, creating e many friends in the process. And so they all lived in a magical harmony. Until. Aha, good morning world. Always a pleasure to wake up to you. Here's to a good day today. Now, what was I doing again? Oh wait, right, right. Roger wanted me to wanted to meet me down by the river for a picnic this morning. I should ha start heading over uh, there after I do my garden work for today. Move space bars. Uh, moving your arrow keys. Press space to enter. Uh, I gotta play with my arrow keys. So no no mouse interactions. Um Oh, what was X? Your cauldron. You used to whip up some potions and other magical concoctions to help your animal friends. Whatever ails them. You feel like you've been using it more than usually lately. Can I interact? kitchen oh can I go back to bed soft starlight uh lamb chop was the first person to give you a present after you arrived here you remember him being a bit sheepish said he hoped that you would think of him one day you do Ruby get the basket candles rinse for Raja Okay, I turned the volume down just a tad. So, uh, yeah. Can I interact with the butterflies? No. Goodness, how pretty you are. I could stare at you all day, but I'm a bit busy for that. A little magic for you. There you go. There we go. Oh, you're growing beautifully. Take a little water. Generous magical sprinkle. There you go. You should be good for the next few days. Oh, my moon daisies aren't supposed to be this color. You aren't sick, are you? Here, I've got you. There you go. Feel better. I'll leave a little extra magic for you. Haha. <laughs> so, opposent, oh, oh, you're gorgeous. A bit of magic for you, and that'll be all you need. Ah, oh gosh, I haven't been spending too long on my flowers, have I? Let's get going.
Lamp trout. The uh, Venus fly trap. Amply named Venus. It looks like she's been... Whatever. Jars full of all candies. There's Lamb Chop. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Hi, Stella. Can I help you with anything? No, no. I just wanted to say good morning. Didn't feel right not checking in on you. You're my friend, after all. Is that so? Oh, let me move that. Aren't you... Aren't you the sweetest? Do you have any plans for today, Stella? You're always quite busy. I do. I actually got my way to meet Raja by the river right now. He invited me to a picnic. I think he wanted my approval for something. Some of his cooking. Haha. <laughs> Alright. I remember Raja telling me about this. I even gave him some candy earlier for you guys to share. You did? That's very nice of you. Are you doing anything? Other than running the candy shop all day. Oh, indeed I am. After the store closes for the night, I'll be heading over to Ruby's Bakery. We're going to try workshopping a new pie recipe for the next group picnic. <laughs> I'd like to see Raja try beating us when it comes down to culinary arts. Oh, really? Gosh, that sounds like it'll be lovely and delicious. Uh, would you, um... I'll be able to help you guys, maybe? Oh, it's really not necessary. We'll be fine on our own, promise. Ah, oh, well, if you say so. I thought I ought to get going. I don't want to keep Roger waiting long. Right, see you later, Stella. Have a good morning. Yes, you too. Ah, oh, Lamb Chop, she's such a nice, young, and outstanding gentleman. I'm assuming this is the way river. Let's do a little detouring, shall we? Oh, we can travel a good distance. Can I go this way? Bonk. Who's in this house? You don't need to see Ruby in her bakery just yet. Okay. Fair enough. What's this way? Well, hold on, hold your horses. Residential area. Let's go talk to everyone before we meet Raja. Acorn's house. You knocked on the door, but it appears they aren't home right now. Okay, who's this? Buck's house. He's not in right now. The neighbor stretches outwards, but you don't need to go much further than here. Okay. That's the game kind of like saying, hey, it's it's time to do the objective. I like that because I would have gotten sidetracked for, uh, well, a good, a good while. So, yeah. Gonna go this way. To the lake. Oh, running into some flowers. Oh, oh. Oh, um, uh, no, we aren't doing this. This isn't that kind of story. I, I didn't, I knew it had a little horror aspect, but like, not this. All right, let's fix him up. Oh, Raja, where's your head at? Ha. Huh. I'm assuming- Oh, there you are. Collector Roger's head. Can I do anything over here? Like, a secret? Okay, Roger. Come back. There, that's all the blood done away. With a quick spell. Now to put your head back on your neck. Stella. Alright, now we just- uh, Okay. Ah! Oh, hello, Stella. Uh, like, uh, nothing happened? You made it, just in time. Or er, Raja, are you okay? Yes, why? Like, you feel fine? Nothing hurts you or anything? Um, I suppose I do have a bit of a headache. But that might just be from me tripping on the ground earlier. You trip. That's all that happened. I know, I know, I'm not usually so clumsy. Which, um, brings us to the bad news. 
Bad news. What kind of bad news? See, when I tripped, I was, a uh, kind of a nasty fall. And because I was so close to the river when it happened, well, I kind of spilled all our food into the river. Ha ha ha. Ha, Rao, Roger, this isn't bad news at all. The important thing is that you're safe. I'm so I'm really sorry to ruin our morning plans like this. Goodness, if only I looked where I was going. Roger, really, it isn't a problem. But what about you? What are you going to do for breakfast now? I have plenty of food at home. And speaking of home, why don't you head home too? You said you had a headache, right? You ought to lay down and rest. Maybe some of that medicine I gave you store at home. If you need more, just tell me. I'll make another batch. Ha, <laughs> no worries, Stella. I think I've I've got enough. You know you know best. A nap does sound nice right now. But promise me we can do this again soon. I definitely won't drop anything this time. Probably. Uh, um His head was missing, right? We're not imagining that. I should look around a bit. Is there anyone else outside right now? Let's search for clues. His head was there. Oh, I thought the game was going to be like, hey, go down this way. Okay, now we can go up, probably. Okay, um, but I was assuming Ruby may have seen a thing or two. Oh, there, don't... Oh, okay, there is someone. Are you Buck? Oh, no, you're a squirrel. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Stella. Hi, Acorn. How's your day? Is it going well? Do you need anything, any help, any help with anything? Actually, my day could probably be a bit better. Ha ha ha. Oh, why do you say that? Is it anything I can help with? Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. See, I needed some help watering some star flowers in my yard. Oh, star flowers are my favorite. Didn't I know it? And I borrowed this watering can from Buck the other day, right? So, of course, I wanted to give it back to him now that I'm done using it, but uh, he hasn't been answering his door all day. I uh, actually haven't seen him anywhere all day, even though I went to look for him. He has, he wasn't in any of his usual places, and no one I asked had seen him. Really? Nobody at all? Nope. Well, maybe Lamb Chop has, but he didn't give me a straight answer. How do you mean? I mean, I kind of seem to be in a grumpy mood today. I stopped by earlier and asked him about Buck, but he was halfway into a to the back of his store. Said he didn't have time to help me look for him or whatever, and that he was busy. I asked if I could at least see what he was so busy with back there, but said it was super secret. No boys or girls allowed. I, rem I reminded him that I'm not either of those, and he slammed the door in my face. Well, that's not very nice at all. Oh, it's not too bad. I think he's just antsy, that's all. I'm sure he didn't even mean it. I'm probably just thinking the wrong way. I don't know what he'd be getting so stressed over, though. Life here is a dream, especially with you around. Well, if you think it's just stress, then, you know, speaking of land trap, I feel completely silly. Silly? Yes, I stopped in the store this morning and I completely forgot while I was in there I wanted to pick up some candy myself. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think you should go see him. If he is in a grumpy mood, I think seeing you will cheer him up. Think so? What makes you say that? Because seeing you always cheers me up. But also, I think you're his favorite out of everyone. I mean, I think we all kind of think you're the best, but... I think he's always liked your best best ever since that first day you got here. That's sweet. I wouldn't waste any of my time then. I'll go see him. I hope you can find Buck in the meantime. You and me both. Ugh. 
Okay, well, let's just say, Buck, are you home? Okay, so Buck is nowhere to be found. Can I go in her house? Apparently she's... Haha, <laughs> Stella, you know I'm right here if you wanted to say hi, right? I'd let you come over for a visit, but wouldn't you rather enjoy the beautiful day outside? You're right. Can I talk to you again? Did you go see Lamb Chop? Not yet. So, see Lamb Chop, then come back. Roger that. Such a beautiful game, right? Nothing bad could go wrong with, like, another decapitated head. I don't know, maybe. Oh, you scared me, Lamb Chop, with the blood on your face potential. Um, hi again, Stella. Hi again, Lamb Chop. Did you just have lunch? It looks like you have some jam left over on your face. It's blood. Uh, Lamb Chop? <laughs> Don't be joking around with me, okay? Um, it's not blood. It's, it's, it's jam. Come on. Uh, -huh. excuse me? It's blood. He's, he's, uh, he's insane. He's... Well, do you do you need help cleaning it off? No, I'm fine with it there. Are you sure? Oh, he oh no, he's going to get me now. Well, if you're going to make such a fuss about it. So, what is it you came back in the year for? I I just wanted to check on you. That's all. Oh, you really care about me, don't you? Sorry, I just punched my microphone. Uh, well, Stella, as much, uh, maybe I need to run. I don't know how this game's going to go. Well, Stella, as much as I'd love to see you, I have to start preparing to close up shop. I have to make sure I've got everything I need for when I meet up with Ruby in a bit. <sighs> I know, he's ma he, he he's going to make them until, oh my gosh, Lamb Chop. But I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? Certainly. I better go check on her before he gets there. She must be in the bakery if she's waiting for him, right? I want to. I want to try to go in his back room. Um. So he's taking out the competition, mainly like the friendship competition, and then like obviously, you know, he probably killed Buck, and we've seen that he killed the rabbit guy, Raja. So uh, yeah. Let's bypass that for now. Go talk to this one, this, this squirrel. Hello, squirrel. Did you see Lamb Chop? Was he happy to see you, like I said? Okay. I thought I was going to get valuable information, like, uh, Lamb Chop had blood all over his face. So, uh, Lamb Chop just needs to ch just chill out. Ruby! It's a wolf. <gasps> Stella, you never say my name right. It's Ruby! You gotta say it with the Roo. Like, Arroo! 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 Alright, we're just howling. Ha ha ha. Ah uh, ha. Uh, uh. So, Ruby, there was something. Actually, something I wanted to ask you about. Lanchop is coming over tonight, right? To try out new recipes and stuff. Would you want me to stay and help you? I know a way to around the kitchen, you know? Oh, um. No, that's okay. Ruby, we all know. I'd rather, um. It'd be a surprise, yeah. They are killing everyone to make their pie. Ah, oh, that's right. Uh, I forgot. You like, like, Land Chop. Ah, uh, well, that, that's not true. It's not. So you didn't care about having alone time with them after all? What? Maybe. Maybe a little. Ah, I see, I see. I get it. 
Well, I don't want to in in intrude on you if you don't want me to hear for the it. Just, uh, p please stay safe, won't you? Of course, Stella. I always keep things safe in the kitchen, and I never forget my oven mitts. Alright. I'll see you tomorrow? See you tomorrow, Stella. I'll make sure to have s saved extra for you. It'll mean the world to me if you like what we come out with. Haha. <laughs> Dozens of sweets. Yummy, yummy, yummy. How much can Ruby churn out? You can't go in there without Ruby's permission. Can I ask Ruby for permission? Did you need anything before I go? Can I wash my hands? Um, no, Ruby. I'm just on to yours and Lamb Chop's plan, that's all. Sunset is getting late already. I suppose I better get home then. Uh, we're gonna go check on the squirrel one more time. Okay, I'm st stuck on an invisible wall there. You don't want to bother him at this hour. How about Buck? Can we at least see if Buck's around? Buck's house. Even if he isn't home. Oh, sweet, sweet, naive alien. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'll do as the game tells me. No more wandering around, I guess. Okay. Okay. It's it's my house. Can we mess with the cauldron? It's bedtime, isn't it? Uh, not yet. You don't really want to go back out tonight. It's been a long day. Okay, it is bedtime then. Um, Stella. Well. I'm ready for bed, okay. Gosh, what is he doing right now? I should... Oh, Lamb Chop, I hope you're not being too rough on her. She's softer than the others. Ooh, I think they're, uh, they might be doing other stuff than what she's thinking they are. Good morning! I should bring Ruby breakfast today. I'm sure she's hungry after working with Lamb Chop all night. So we're gonna cook up some breakfast. I cook up some cauldron. No, oh, okay. I have to get my greetings before I can see Ruby. Oh, I have to go into the refrigerator. Now let's see here. A little of this, definitely this. Um. Oh yes, this should be more than enough. Don't worry, Ruby. If anything went wrong, I can fix it. Okay, cauldron. If anything went wrong, she can fix it. I, d I don't like the sound of that. Let's go and visit. Let's make sure Ruby's okay before we can do anything else. Got it, game. Please, Ruby. I know you two are killing everyone. Oh, Ruby, what's on your face? Ruby, I was wondering if we could have... Oh, no, Ruby. Sorry, Stella. I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, Ruby. Can you bring me a pot, Ruby? Okay. Oh, no. Now, Ruby, while I'm preparing this, do you mind telling me what happened? I, I didn't mean to. I, I didn't want to do it. I'm sorry. I didn't. I shouldn't have. But, but I'm... Uh, hey, hey, calm down. It's okay, Ruby. You're safe, and I'm here to help you. Just tell me what happened, if you can. Last night... Now, this and this perfect 
Now if you'll be ready for when... Lamp Chop, you're here! Heh! <laughs> I've been so excited. What do you want to try making first? Oh wait, you've got a bucket? What did you bring? We can use that for the first pie before it goes bad. Oh. For, wh what? What? You don't mind that I brought a friend for dinner, do you? Eat it. Uh huh? Did I stutter? Oh god. Daddy Lamb Chop, please no. Eat it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you're a wolf, aren't you? Wolves eat meat. Eat it. You're... You can't be Lamb Chop. I, I don't know who you are, but I've never eaten one of my friends. I never eat anyone. Come now, that's not true. Didn't think I didn't notice the way you looked at me, Ruby. Everyone thinks you have a crush on me. That's not quite true, is it? I think you wanted to eat me. Though I suppose that might as well be the same as a crush in the end. How are you meant to love something you don't want to destroy? Well, eat it already. So something's wrong with you. Dude, you're crazy. Ruby, shut it. Eat it before I make you eat it. Ooh. I mean, uh, no. Aw, oh, look. You made me get my hands dirty. Lamb chop. Ooh, lamb chop, you're crazy. Tastes good, though, doesn't it? I should hope so. I took a lot to get to this point. Oh, Ruby. You got such a beautiful smile. I didn't want it. I didn't want to do it. I, I promise, but he dug his hands into the bucket and, and it's okay, it's okay. Thanks for telling me as much as you did. He he was right too, Stella. It did taste good. I wouldn't worry about that, Ruby. Alright, Ruby, I'm all done. Now let's wipe your face and drink this for me, okay? I promise you'll feel a lot better. Uh, Stella, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't feel so good. I feel like I I gotta excuse me. Yes, go throw it up. She's making you throw it up. Oh yeah. Wowee, I feel so much better. You were right. Oh good. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, now may I ask you again about last night, just really quick? Sure, what'd you wanna know? Well um what happened last night? Oh, well, Lamb Chop came over to bake pies with me. And? That's all I can remember, actually. Haha. <laughs> okay, Stella, you were... You're manipulating everyone. I don't like that. I'd tell you what kind of recipes we tried out, but I honestly can't recall. It's kind of a blur, almost. All I can think about is how exactly I was... When I went to see him, even though the door... Everything after that just isn't really coming to me. I may have been daydreaming the whole time. Heh <laughs> Oh, no worries. No worries at all. I'm just happy to see you smile about it. Though, I do wonder... Hmm. I'll see you later, Ruby. I need to check on something. Okie dokie. Feel free to pick up any sweet treats for yourself on the way out. Um... Uh, can I go into your back room? Okay, let's get a donut. Okay, maybe I get a donut from here? Okay, nope. Buck! Well, we brought Buck back to life. Uh, Stella. Oh, Buck, I'm sorry to see you, alright? Do you, um, this might be strange, but where did you come from? Oh, you noticed, huh? I thought I could sneak out under undetected. It's, uh, really weird. I, like, went to go help Lamb Chop with something, and then I just woke up in Ruby's bathroom? I don't know how I got there, and I don't want to spook her, so I thought I could just sneak out the back. But I guess she caught me. Anyway, ha. Ha ha, right. Well, 
Uh-oh. Acorn's been looking for you. They wanted to return your watering can. Haha, <laughs> got it. I'll go look for them right now. He can't keep doing this. Oh, so Lamb Chop has been crazy this whole time. Can I at least knock on these doors now? Hello? Oh no. We just seen Buck. Okay. So my hypothesis, right? Lamb Chop is a psychopath, obviously. And he keeps doing this multiple times. This wasn't the first incident. So she's constantly, that's why she said her cauldron is fixing the problems that he's causing. The jig's up, Lamb Chop. I'm coming around to this side. Uh, Stella, there's no need for you to come behind the counter. I can get anything you want. Nope. I was gonna beat him up. Hi, Stella. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Okay, Lamb Chop. We know your game. Is everything okay, Stella? You seem a little grumpy. Haha. <laughs> you know, I saw everything you did, right? Oh, uh, did ya? Did you like it? No, Lamb Chop, I didn't. And I fixed it. You... You think I couldn't? I fixed all them, Lamb Chop. No one's dead. No one's injured. They don't even remember it. Again. I fixed everything. Again. Stella, you evil fucking bitch. I hate you. There we go. That's the land top we all love. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna fuck you up. Come here. I'm gonna beat his ass. Give me this plant. Give me the plant. I'm gonna hit him over the head with it. Oh, he's got a Venus flytrap. All right, there's some blood. <sighs> Lamb Chop, you are crazy. Can I not interact with any of these? You have knives? I'm gonna grab this just in case. Ew. I see you're decorating more since the last time. Hmm. How nice of you to notice. What's that meat from? Landchop, we need to talk about this. Tch. I should have eaten that bitch myself. Maybe we then we wouldn't have this problem. Heh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see you try fixing that. Landchop. Why do you keep doing this? Because I want to. Why else? That's not an answer. How isn't it? Because you're not telling me anything when you say that. Fine. I do it because it's fun. There. Are you happy now? You think I'm stupid? That I accept you want to do stuff because it's fun? How could anyone get enjoyment out of this? Oh, fuck off, Stella. Ooh. Daddy Lamb Chop's back. You never understand it anyways. Get the fuck out of here of my shop. You know what? I'm gonna take this axe. I'm gonna cleaver you with it. It's not what you do with an axe, but... What are you still doing here? I thought I just told you to fuck off. Well, I don't want to leave just yet. <laughs> That's just like you. It's always about what you want. The entire fucking goddamn world is always about what you want. Oh, what I want? It's about what everyone wants. Everyone gets to eat good, feel good, be happy. What more could you ask for? What more do you want? I want you to drop dead. This isn't the lamb chop I met when I first came here. He would have never said that to me. No, it's not, and I wouldn't have. But, I like this one better. I guess you'll just have to deal with it, hero. You know what's funny? I never really thought much of Ruby. Or really, I thought of her as such wasted potential. A wolf? With pointed claws, sharp teeth, yet in the discriminable uh whatever from any prey animal 
indecisible. I think that was what it was. You may as well have defanged her the entire time you've been here. Last night something happened. I watched her gnaw away at what I made out of Buck and something about it. When I saw her like that, crying, her mouth just dripping with blood, just her teeth were all red, I felt like the way it was meant to be. And looking at it, it's like it was overcome with the urge, suddenly one I never felt towards her before. And this... I wanted to kiss her. Oh, okay, so this is where we're... Alright, hold on. Oh, I can't. I should have saved it before this part. I'm gonna say it. Did you kiss her? Ha, like I'm gonna tell you. It's more fun to watch you grapple with the idea. What, are you still wondering if I'll tell you? Ha ha ha. You know what, Stella? I'll tell you this. I've always wanted to kiss you a lot more. I mean, come on. You look like an angel when you are when you first come here. The way you spoke to us was nothing but comforting, and you had this unbreakable charm to you. Was it not supposed to be drawn in by something like that? I was entrapped by you, completely swept up, and how absolutely above me you were. And now I think that's just it. You always saw yourself that way, didn't you? Way too, didn't you? When I think about how Ruby looked last night, it reminded me of you. I only wanted to kiss her because in that moment she looked so beautiful and I felt so real. And I realized that when you came here, it was like you were the first real thing to ever happen to me. And after all the time that passed, I realized that even more it's even more true now, the way I am now. I feel like a person, like more of a person than I ever than I ever been. I see everyone else the way you always have. How can you expect me not to feel bad about what I did to Buck, to Roger, to anyone? Am I supposed to feel guilty about what I did to Ruby last night? She isn't a person, not yet. Not the way that you and I are. But she could be. She could be, if you'd let her. Who am I kidding? You won't even let me. Alright, he's got a lot to say. Vasilla, don't. But Stella doesn't want to surround herself with people. She wants to surround herself with friends. Everyone here is your friend, right? That's what I am too, right? I'm your friend? That's so funny. I don't even recall you being mine. Excuse me? Huh? How can you say that I'm not your friend? Everything I do for you... Aw, oh, did that make you mad? You're really cute when you're mad, Stella. Kind of proves my point, though, doesn't it? The second something isn't the way you want to be, you get mad. Imagine how I feel repeating the daily cycle of living in a sugar-coated hell. If anything, you should be happy it took me so long to get to this point. But no, you wouldn't be happy for me, no matter what. Because the stuff that's fun to me is, it's, isn't the stuff that Stella likes to, likes to see. Ugh, sorry. Anything that doesn't fit into Stella's idea of a comfortable and perfect world has to go has has got to go right maybe i'd be happy for you if your idea wasn't idea of fun wasn't killing all her friends and making them eat each other did you ever think about that of course i have but then i thought about it some more and do you really treat them that much better you really have to com you really have completely lost it haven't you oh you're so funny who do you think I learn how to love from? If this is your idea of love, then I can't believe you'd even compare me. I don't love like this. Oh my stars, you can't even see it. You're delusional. Explain it to me then. How are our ideas of love possibly the same? Alright then, let me look at it the way of love. Uh, you arrive here on a falling star and the second you do, you take the entire town into your hands. Before anyone knows it, you're fixing all their problems. Problems they didn't even know they had. Problems they never even asked for help with. Suddenly, you're the center of their lives. Of everyone's lives. They're playing their, 
their days around you doing things that'll hope make you happy in the end, you consume their minds just like you did mine. And so when I think about it, like, think of, blah, blah, blah. And so when I think about it like that, it's really clear to me. You have no idea how to love anything and without eating it. And now I'm not sure if I can see love any other way. You know, Stella, I think we should get married. You and me, husband and wife, what'd you say? We've already bonded, we've already bound each other in eternal misery. Might as well make it official. Maybe by the end of it all, we'll finally eat each other, and then neither of us will be winners. Lamb chop, stop this already. Can't you understand I don't want you to be miserable? Ha, could have fooled me. You've been doing nothing but making me miserable for who knows how long now. Of course you would be happy, Lamb Chop. Of course I want you to be happy. But I can't get behind this. I, I just don't get it. Everyone else is happy the way things are, so why can't you be? What is any of this doing for you? Okay, now you're really starting to get on my nerves. You're not even listening to me, are you? I mean, ha. Huh, why would you? Of course you're not listening to me. Not... I'm not saying what Scylla wants to hear. You just want and want and want. It's all you've ever done from the moment you've landed here. You just w want what you want, you take it. With no regrets for anyone here. Because what do we want? We want what we're supposed to want, and what we're supposed to want is to make Stella happy. And if something's not making Stella happy, and then there's something wrong with the things that we want, because Stella, beautiful, stupid, uh, argumentative celestial Stella can never think about anything other than what she wants and she can't handle that for the first time since she got here it isn't about what she wants it's about what I want then what is it that you want I want misery I want death I want a fucking life nothing has ever meant anything around you not unless it was about you. We have picnics and it feels like nothing. We throw tea parties, festivals, and there's nothing. I realized at a certain point that when you smiled at me, there was nothing behind those eyes. I had never been a person to you until all of this. I, we, all of us, have always just been accessories in your vision of a perfect world where everyone needs you to feel like you're great. But now, now I'm somebody. I'm somebody and you hate it. I'm happy and I'm doing something that makes me happy. It makes me happy even when it doesn't make you happy. And when you look at me now, you're seeing someone and all I had to do was everything you hated. Isn't that so funny? And the funniest part is that I feel like I finally understand you. Because when I watch those fuckers die, I've never felt more alive. Because now I get it. I finally feel what you feel all this time troll but I'm not supposed to that feeling's reserved for Stella right so she'll stop me at every turn every corner and just like always the story returns to being about Stella again ha huh. saying it out loud there's an odd sense of joy in knowing you're just as useful as me maybe even more when we consider everything that led to us being here now maybe that's all I still like you after all this your mind's more fucked up than anything I could come up with. Yeah, that's it. That's what I still love about you, after everything. I can never get enough of how awful you are. I aspire to it. You know what sucks, though? Even this isn't going to last forever. You'll keep fixing whatever I do, and you'll keep wishing that, it, that I'll stop, but you'll get used to it. And just like that, I'll stop being a person to you again. Before I know it, you'll go back to seeing me the way you see me, everyone else. It's not a part of the story. Who repeats all his old lines to you over and over and over again. You know what sucks though. Even though this isn't going to last forever. You'll keep fixing whatever I do. And you'll keep wishing for it to stop. But you'll just get used to it. And just like that it'll stop being a person to you again. Um. Okay. I think that's all, right? Lamb chop. I understand. Like, 
It's fucked up and you're putting it out there. <gasps> I understand. Stella, this the character probably doesn't understand because yeah, obviously she's forcing you all to be like that. But again, Lamb Chop. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I admit it. I want Lamb Chop's side. Even though I don't yeah. Leave Jan yeah, leave Lamb Chop alone now. Maybe there's still a way to make you happy too. He is happy. Stella, did you not just read the 20 hour monologue? He is extremely happy. Buck just, I mean not Buck, um, Roger just straight up left his picnic basket there, huh? He's right. He's been my friend ever since I got here, but am I really allowed to call myself his? Friends try to make each other happy. Even if recently there's not, that's not the case. Maybe it's just because I haven't been keeping up with my end of the friendship. So... I'm sorry, what? What did she do? Alright, what are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Then what's all this for? You don't expect me to believe that any of these any of this blood and guts are real, do you? Huh, you're correct. It's all just magic and decorations. Why? I thought you hated this stuff. Oh I do. I think this stuff looks awful. If it was up to me, I tear it all down right away. But you like it. And I'm your friend, and I care about you and the things that make you happy. We live here together, and I don't want you to feel like you're nobody here. I also, um, maybe hoping a bit like that. If you're happier, you'll stop killing everyone a little bit. Ah, ha, ha. wow, Stella, you're right. You wanted this to make me stop? Seeing it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Gosh, if what I do leads you to all this, I need to up the ante. I gotta keep going. I need to do things that'll really stick. I need to do something so fucked up that you'll have no idea how to fix it. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Come on, Lamb Chop. I'm doing all this because I want you to be happy. So do I. Even still, wouldn't you be happier with things this way? Excuse me? You like playing hero, don't you? How are you going to do that when there's no villain? I like the decorations, by the way. They remind me of you. Very pretty. Damn chop. I'm happy that we're friends. I know you are. Oh my gosh, Stella. The sheep said to the witch, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Yeah, arcade kitten. Really nice. Um, maybe there's another ending. I don't know, though. Patreon, thank you for allowing them to do this. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Okay. Uh, we're gonna run it back. Just, just real quick. I can't continue. Just till I get to that point. See if there is another ending. Okay, uh, I didn't, I hit the wrong option, so let's see if it's, if anything changes. I was just spam clicking. Uh, 
Oh, Lamb Chop, I didn't want to have to do this, but you've given me no choice. You won't let me help you, so I'll just have to do it on my own. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, what a beautiful day it is. I should go check on Lamb Chop today. He might still need a little help. Oh, this is different. Okay, I didn't screw the pooch that bad, huh? Maybe just a little bit of dialogue I missed out on. But let's see. Hi, right, Lamb Chop, you look different today. Oh, good morning, Stella. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Are you doing okay today? You seem a little antsy. Uh, aren't I always? It's alright, I just, uh, I gave myself a bit of a paper cut this morning. It started bleeding and it really icked me out, you know? I prefer to blood, avoid blood whenever I can, haha. Uh -huh. I see. I know you get, I know how you get with blood, haha. Uh -huh. Well, you know, always know who to come to if you ever need a bandage or something to kiss the boo-boo better. Oh, of course. Thanks, Stella. You're the best. Thank you, Lamb Chop. I'm happy to hear you think so. Wrong ending. Ba ba black sheep. Yeah, so we got the true ending. Oh, the first time around. Let's go. Okay, so that was sweet no death. Um, I will link it, of course, in the uh, description below. So if you want to uh, give it a shot, play it for yourself, go ahead. Um, it, they were it was arcade kitten. They have a ton of super cute games like this on itch.io. Uh, I will for sure be playing more of their games. So if you want to see that, just drop a nice little like, uh, comment, and just let me know how you thought of the game. Also, my new uh, V2 avatar I've been using today. I'm going to start using this more. So yeah, if you like that too, let me know. That's going to do it. It's Ashido. Peace out. Bye-bye.